from Lano27 Music. Uh, today I'm going to look at an amp that I've already done a video for. It's the Monoprice 5 watt tube amplifier. And in my original video I had swapped out the stock speaker. Uh, I replaced it with a, uh, a Jensen C8R. Uh, recently I've had a number of comments. People wanted to actually hear the, the stock speaker, so the way it was originally intended. So I've gone back, I've put the, uh, the stock speaker back in and I'm going to play it through uh, a few of my guitars. I'm going to have some single coil and also humbucker sounds. I'm also going to play through the high and the low. In the original video I'd only done the low. And then I'm going to go and pull the stock speaker and actually show that process, how, how easy it is to actually change the speaker and put in the, uh, the Jensen speaker again. And then again, play the same things with that. Uh, so we'll do a side by side and you'll be able to hear what the stock speaker sounds like versus the uh, replacement speaker. All right, so as I mentioned, I've got the stock speaker back in the amp. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so let's get going here. I've got my custom Tele Plus. Everything's set to 12 o'clock. I've got the uh, TC Electronic Hall of Fame Mini in there just for a little touch of reverb. So let's hear what this is. A lesson for how not to change a guitar just like that you don't do that I'm all right so now we're in the high input already you can hear the uh, the high at medium volume, it's just on the edge of breakup. So it's, it's probably gonna break up with with this pickup here. Thank you. 
bridge. All right, so there we go. Through two different types of guitars, different pickups, different uh, different volume levels, maxed out, both inputs. Now. Let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead. Open this guy up. Now there's four screws holding the head inside, one on each side, and one on, or sorry, one on each side and on the top screw. Okay, so here's the stock Celestian G8A15. Jensen speaker is installed. Let's go through the same stuff in the neck. out I definitely get more clarity I can hear it instantly it's just 
The other one came across a lot muddier. Less noticeable when the volume's down, but when it's cranked all the way, yeah, it's definitely a nicer sound. All right, same stuff again. Half volume, neck pickup. there we go uh, we've heard both speakers now you've heard the stock speaker you've heard the Jensen replacement uh, I played through some humbuckers uh, through some single coil I think I've exhausted all the uh, different demos I can do with this amp now I've done the high the low input uh, maxed it out so you can hear how it actually naturally distorts when it's very high uh, played through uh, a couple different guitars so in the room, I heard a difference. It's not night and day difference. I mean, it's it's just a preference that I have with that uh, Jensen speaker. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. I definitely prefer it. So let me know in the comments, did you hear a difference? Maybe you didn't hear a difference. Maybe it's not coming through also, I, I don't know. But now you can say you've heard the amp with the stock speaker, and then you can decide if you wanna buy it. I mean, it's still a great deal. The amp is, Last time I checked, it's 115 bucks or 112 bucks, something like that. Something ridiculous. Like you can't get a five watt tube amp anywhere else. And uh, I also didn't mention in my other video, it's got an external speaker, so you can do an out. It gives you the option of an eight or 16 ohm. So a couple uh, people have told me they've tried it. One guy in the comments mentioned that he's taken two of these and he goes stereo out into two. Uh, 1 by 12 cabinets and it said it sounds amazing. Okay, so that's it for now. Landon here from Lano 27 Music. Please like and subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos. You can check out the original video of this. Check back again soon and take care for now. We'll see you again. Bye.